If you won't be able to file your taxes by the deadline of April 18th, 2022, you need to file an extension so you don't get hit with any fines. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna walk you through how to fill out IRS form 4868 to extend your filing deadline. I'm Bradford, the Penny Pinterest Guide of Personal Finance. First, make sure you give the video a like so we know to make more like it. So here we have IRS Form 4868, which is how you request a filing extension of up to six months if you live in the United States or four additional months on top of the two months that you're already given if you are a US citizen not living in the United States. I'll touch more on those specifics later. So it's gonna give you three different ways that you can request an automatic extension of your filing deadline. So the first one, which is also listed out on the right-hand side of the screen in more detail, is that you can either pay all or part of your estimated taxes. At that point, the IRS will automatically extend your filing deadline. The second one is that you can file this form that I'm showing you right here electronically, either using the IRS free file program or just through one of your regular tax preparation softwares. And the other option is to use the IRS free fillable forms, which are located on the IRS website. And then the last option, if you prefer to file your taxes via paper, using snail mail, you can fill out this form, print it out, and then send it in. And I'll show you the actual addresses, which are gonna be located on the very bottom of this form. So continuing through here, as I mentioned previously, these options of paying electronically, e-filing, or then using the paper form 4868 are just further explaining how you use these three different options, which are on the left-hand side of the screen. Continuing down here, it's gonna give you your general instructions. So the big thing here is that if you live in the United States and you're a US citizen and you file the form 4868, you're gonna have your tax deadline extended by up to six months. And looking down here is that you don't have to explain why you're asking for an extension. The only reason that you might have to is if they deny your extension and at that point you can work with the IRS to explain your reasoning as to why you need a filing extension. But it should be pretty much automatic as soon as you file this form, your tax deadline will be extended. So coming down here, this is the only part of the form that you actually have to fill out. Everything else is instructions and telling you how the process works. So as long as you're not using a non-standard tax here, you don't have to put anything in these sections up here at the top. You're just gonna put your name, where do you live, the city, state, and zip code, what is your social security number, and if you're filing jointly, what is your spouse's social security number. You're gonna do your estimated total of your tax liability for 2021. If you're not sure how to actually calculate what your tax liability is, check out this video I'm dropping right in the corner of the screen. You're gonna have your total of all your 2021 payments. So that was, if you are a W-2 employee, you're just working for somewhere, how much money they have withheld from your paycheck to be able to go towards your estimated tax liability. So that is what you're gonna put in right there, which is what would have been listed on your W-2. You're gonna see what is the balance. You're gonna subtract line five, how much you've already paid from how much you owe, which is line four. So if you have a negative number there, that's how much money the IRS is gonna owe you as a refund. If you have a positive number, that's how much extra money you have to owe towards the IRS before you can actually file your taxes. It's gonna be seven, amount you're paying. So reference the instructions, which are gonna be on the next page. Check here if you're out of country, that is gonna affect what your tax filing extension can be. And then check here if you file a form 1040 NR and didn't receive wages as an employee subject to the US income tax withholding. So going on the next page here, this is gonna be all of the most pertinent instructions that I've highlighted and I'm gonna break those down. So if you don't get anything out of these instructions, there's two things that you need to know. One, you need to file your tax extension request prior to April 18th, which is the tax filing deadline. And then second, is that even though your filing extension can be extended, you still have to pay all the taxes that you owe prior to the April 18th deadline. So those are the two biggest things. Now let's dive into some of the specifics. So it breaks it down here at the top of the screen when you have to file the form. If you live in Maine or Massachusetts, you have one extra day. Taxpayers who are out of country. If you live out of the country and it breaks down who this actually applies to, you're gonna automatically get an extra two months to file your taxes even though you have those extra two months, you still have to pay your taxes by the standard April 18th deadline. Now, continuing down here, it tells you what is the total time allowed. So generally, you can't have it extended more than six months after the initial filing deadline. So in this case, it's gonna be October 17th of 2022. There can be an exception if you live out of country. Now, for actually filing your tax return, if you file late, you're gonna suffer a couple different problems here. So the first is gonna be that interest. You're gonna owe interest on any tax that is not paid by the initial filing deadline of April 18th. The late payment penalty, you get your extension, but you haven't actually paid your money yet that you owe in taxes. This is how it's gonna be taxed. 
you're going to have your late payment penalty. It's either going to be half of a percent or 1% of any tax other than the estimated tax, what you've already paid, that is not paid by the regular, regular due date of your return, April 18th, 2022, in this situation. And that is going to be charged each month or part of a month, so it will be prorated up until you actually pay your taxes up to a maximum penalty of 25%. So say you owe $1,000 in taxes, the maximum you could be charged for the late payment penalty is gonna be $250. Continuing down here, the late filing penalty. So this is the main reason you're requesting and filling out this form is so that way you don't have to worry about a late filing penalty. So this is gonna be 5% of the amount due for each month or part of a month your return is late with a maximum penalty of 25%. So these things can actually stack. So say you wait the maximum amount so you get charge the 25% penalty for both the late filing penalty, as well as the late, correction, the late payment penalty, as well as the late filing penalty. If you owe $1,000, that means you're gonna owe $250 for the late payment penalty, and then $250 for the late filing penalty. You don't wanna have that happen. And then how to claim credit for the payment made with this form, because you can actually send in your payment, which is what you're required to do when you file this extension, and it's gonna give you these instructions right here. Continuing down onto the next page, it's gonna give you specific instructions line by line. It's pretty self-explanatory. I told you how you have to fill it out with your name, social security number, address, stuff like that. But if you do have any questions on the specifics of what you need to put in each of those lines, it's gonna be addressed on this page right here. And then it's gonna tell you how do you actually make a payment for the taxes that you still owe, separate from what was already withheld from your paycheck. This is your different options here. You can make payments electronically, you can pay by check or money order. So those are gonna be your main options. So you can either pay online. If you're using some sort of tax prep software like TurboTax, it'll give you the option in there. Or if you're filling this out and sending everything in by mail, you can write a check to the IRS and send it in that way. Kind of funny thing here, no checks of $100 million or more accepted. If that is your situation that you owe that much money in taxes, I really hope you're not using a YouTuber to try to figure that out. You're in way over your head. The next thing is where do you file your paper form 4868 if you're using snail mail, printing this out and sending it in that way. And it's just gonna tell you based on where you live, where you need to send it to, as well as a couple other things about private delivery services. And that's gonna bring you all the way to the end of IRS form 4868. Now that you know how to extend your tax filing deadline, you still have to actually file your taxes. If you prefer to do everything yourself, check out our walkthrough of the IRS form 1040 right here or if you prefer to use a tax prep software instead, see if you qualify for the IRS free filing program. Thank you for joining me today, and until next time, just remember to pinch a little.